And one of the buildings was in, you know, pretty well already gone and it was just nearly impossible for them to stop and the fire just moved on down to the rest of the buildings. The fire took out the west side of Main Street, including the chicken coop, photos to remember and Rash's barber shop. We had the center building, which was the old bank building in town, which was built in 1902. Had a lot of historical bank, uh, you know, things in it, such as the vault and things like that. Now it's almost impossible to identify which shop was where, as most of their contents lay underneath mounds of bricks and rubble. We appreciate all the work that the fire departments did, and nobody got hurt, and that was the most important thing. As for the cause of the fire, we may never know. In this case, uh, with the extent of the damage, or where there was severe liability issue to, to life and health of the community. Uh, so the determination was made to go ahead and, and demolish the buildings and try to extinguish the fire the best they could. For the next few weeks, the cleanup lies in the hands of the building's owners. By the ordinances we have in place, we've basically got 30 days before we can intervene in the process. Uh, so right now it's property owner responsibility. We're trying to assist with information and some guidance. And basically what we're doing now is just trying to figure out how to get it cleaned up and and help the folks that, that don't have insurance coverage on trying to figure out a way to help them get it cleaned up too and, and move forward. Several options are being discussed as to the future of this site, but it's too soon to tell. You know, it's hard in a rural community to put up a lot of nice fancy buildings and rent them out for the money that you need to do to, to justify those type of buildings, but there's a lot of different options going around now. Brooke Hash, KHQA News, Shelbina, Missouri.